What's going on my dream team? Dave back at you with uh, a way back Wednesday and today we're doing 2009 playoff contenders. Um, now this is not a great draft class. Um, you got a handful of pro bowlers come out of it. Obviously Stafford's had a pretty solid career I would say. Um, you know, made some made some Pro Bowls. I think the Lions made the playoffs what once, twice. Uh, it's number one overall pick. But uh, really, what we're chasing here is Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman. Um, so let's get started. Get Red Eleven here, doing some slicing and dicing. Um, pick this up for a really good price, um, and uh, figured it was time to. To rip this bad boy open. In the good old days of the checklist. I don't think I've ever opened 2009 contenders before. Um, even like on a pack basis. But there were some good undrafted rookies that came out of this too. Um, including uh, Arian Foster, who when he was healthy, the dude was nuts. And then when he went like full, full on vegan, like he started having health issues and couldn't stay healthy. Um, now I'm not here to talk about vegan diets or anything like that, but you know, when you're, when you're struggling to get enough protein and stuff, it's hard, it's hard to stay healthy, especially when you're an athlete with uh, needing to keep on some, some muscle mass. All right, so here's, uh, here's kind of what the cards look like. Really cool looking base card design. Kind of busy, I would say. But so here's the front. Here's the back. And uh, let's see what these guys look like. Rookie roll call. Aaron Curry, not numbered. And then who's that? Dwayne Bow and Tony Gonzalez. Newly Hall of Famed Tony Gonzalez. Um, these packs feel very, uh, the wrappers feel very light and thin. Definitely different than what you have in today's packs. And I guess all these cards are going to be sideways cards like that. Julius Jones, Rookie of the Year contenders, Mohamed Masakoy, which I think he was, uh, was he an um, Oklahoma guy. Um, the cards themselves feel a little waxy, a little sticky, like... I wouldn't be surprised if these ended up sticking together at some point in the packs. All right. Vernon Davis. Joseph Dye. It's a cool little insert there. Mike McGee and Mike Thomas, round numbers. So Panini's kept a lot of these inserts, just different designs. Again, not numbered. Cool. Um, I forgot to check the box, but it should be very similar in terms of the number of autos. I think four or five. All right. Kurt Warner, Greg Olson, and our first rookie is going to be Brooks Foster. Really don't know who that is, but that one's a sticker, not on card. Um, and that's the thing, anytime you're gonna bust older product, you're gonna get a lot of dudes that are obviously out of the league now, didn't pan out in anything, you know, seventh round, cornerbacks. And uh, if you're paying big money for old product, you re it's really because you're only chasing a handful of cards and the odds are not in your favor. But if you hit them, you get some nice little boomers. All right, Maroney, Josh Morgan, there's a legendary contender, a Burt Jones. It's a cool insert. Is that guy numbered? Nope. Not numbered. Eli and Cedric Benson. Here's a Texas running back, right? Oh, I forget. I know Cedric Benson had some health issues. I think he had some other off-field issues. I don't remember for sure off the top of my head. Um, I am I am kind of glad Pini did not stick with these sideways designs. Um, all right, McNabb, who's that? Kyle Orton, Rookie of the Year contenders, Darius Hayward Bay. He's actually carved out a nice little niche of a career um, ever since he 
came over the Steelers. Um, you know, he's been a solid 3-4 special teamer. Um, you know, number three, number four, wide receiver, good special teamer. Um, and he'll catch 10, 15 balls a year as a, as a deep threat for those guys. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more than um, the season's previous last couple. And JD, rookie roll call, Vonta Davis. Wasn't he the dude that quit at halftime or retired at halftime? Oh, there's a sweet throwback Rodgers. Setting that one aside for Joe. And then Derek Ward. It is kind of fun ripping some of these, these older packs though. Brings back a lot of memories. A lot of guys you kind of forget about. Steve Slayton. I think he had a name change. No, that was uh, Dominic Davis that had a weird name change like three years into his career. Chris Cooley. Here's a cool insert. Playoff ticket, Flacco. That one is numbered 51 and 99. And then Damian Tomlinson and Greg Jennings. And, you know, Contenders is probably one of the most iconic products of all time, when it comes, at least when it comes to, to football collecting. This has always been popular year in, year out. You always got some, some cool inserts, some great autos, and it's always one of the most sought after as well. Dave Casper, not numbered. Even in, uh, even in down years, you get, you can still get some sweet cards and it still relatively holds its value. Maybe the exception is like the 2013 draft class. You can get a box of that for under 60 bucks. All right, Colston. Forte, another rookie, role call, rookie of the year contenders. Johnny Knox, he was a dude. I think he had a really bad back or neck injury, but nice explosive little punt returner there. Katri, Braylon Edwards. It's only one auto in so far. And again, the nice thing about 2009, right? Um, at least from what we're chasing, that Edelman auto is uh, with an Edelman auto, he was a seventh round draft pick. So there may not be, I mean, you could get theoretically in a box, a, a Stafford and an Edelman and things would be pretty balanced at least at the time of this release. Palmer, Willie Parker. Oh, we got a redemption. Um, Looks like that's still good. It says Panini on there. So this would be really fun. This is a really old redemption. Um, and they stamped it too. Authentic redemption card. I wonder if they had issues with people making fakes. So uh, rookie ticket, card number 190. Where's that checklist? Let's see. Who we got here? So it looks like all the big names right over here. 190s going to be Mike Godson. I think, I think that was a wide receiver. Um, but I'm also pretty sure if we scratch this off, we will never get this card unless they've just got a stack of those. But there we go, old school redemption. That's kind of cool. Be interesting to see what they end up sending me instead. Or if I get a, a Mike Godson. Um, maybe he was a safety. <clears throat> I don't really recall. All right. We have Santonio San Holmes. Santana Moss. Rookie roll call. Ramsey's Barden. And then Jackson and Johnson. All right. Two autos in. Set that aside. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video. Like I said, these these cards are a little sticky, and then with them all being sideways, you kind of get a flip flip. Kevin Smith. Hey, there's Brady season ticket. Nice. Set that aside for the PC draft class. McCoy and Macklin. Oh yeah, that's right. McCoy is in this draft class, isn't he? Was he a third round pick? Pretty sure it was a third round pick of the. Uh, 
of the Eagles there. Schaub and Kerry Collins. All right. Get a Ronnie Brown on the back. I think football card Ollie collects him, right? There's a sweet Randy Moss in this Pats Uni. Not a ton of cards. Well, I guess there's more now of his autographs and stuff, but he was only with them for a couple of years. Not a ton of base cards like that. Steve Smith, legendary contenders. Tim Brown, I keep thinking these gold ones should be numbered, but they're not. That's just how the insert looks. CJ2K. All right. Thanks for sticking this out. These are cool. These are fun. I love these designs. Bernard Berrien, D'Angelo Williams, another draft class. Glenn Coffey. He was from Alabama, and I think, didn't he retire like in his first training camp to, to join the, the Army or something? Um, I think that's what it was. No, it looks like he played week five. He had something unique about him in terms of when he retired. Maybe it was after his first year. I'd have to go back and look that up. It was something like that. Which at the time, if you were a Glenn Coffee collector, you're probably like, dude, come on. Ooh, big bust. Jamarcus Russell. Looks like we got a rookie ticket behind here for the Steelers. Who's this? <laughs> David Johnson. David Johnson before there was a David Johnson. There you go, tight end. Just look at his stats in the back. Looks like he was a, a blocking tight end. Only 22 career college receptions, it looked like. All right, I think we got one more auto for sure. Maybe another. As you can see, this is not gonna be the best. Um, those two were sticker autos, and that redemption, I'm assuming, is gonna be sticker on, on card. Clinton Portis, Percy Harvin, Brandon Pettigrew. Round numbers. Harvin, though, he was a first round pick. I don't know why it says three there. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, that's probably an error of misprint by Panini. That or that three means something completely different than, oh, Sunday's jumping up on my lap. So let's make sure she does not knock everything over. She wants a closer bird's eye view. Actually, my microphone has. Uh, big long cord on it, so I think she's just getting ready to start batting at that. All right, next rookie ticket's gonna be for the Rams. Yes, James Laurinaitis. I love this dude. Um, dude was just a beast athlete. His dad was a professional wrestler. Um, he went to Wyzetta High School, um, which um, was super close to me. Um, and uh, my girlfriend in high school actually actually went there. I think he played. I think he played football with uh, my girlfriend in high school's older brother um, as as well. So James Laurinaitis, Minnesota guy, love that. Great auto too. All that sticker. No, no, Sunday, <laughs> you gotta stay down. She almost jumped up on the up on the table there. All right, you go play with some empty packs. There you go. Or go jump in the box. People love when you jump in the box. Gonna keep ripping here. Brett Favre in a Vikings uni. Again, not many of those that you see. Um, let's see, Delon, Miller. Oh, that pack was weird. No inserts or anything. All base cards. I think that was the first pack like that, wasn't it? All right. Like I said, I have no clue if we're gonna get another auto or not. We may just have those five. Westbrook, who I believe his cousin's um, Russell Westbrook, right, for the uh, for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I believe they're cousins. Marshall, Hasselbeck, Lynch, and Thomas Jones. All right. I guess they decided not to put up inserts in there anymore. Roll over 
faster. Reggie Wayne, Tim Hightower, draft class, Noshaw Moreno, Kenny McKinley. Moreno had a really weird career, just very up and down, um, and then kind of revived it down in Miami for a season. And um, he also, there's that what, famous picture of him because he had like some weird tear duct issue of him like just ball, it looked like he was balling on the sidelines. All right, Eddie Royal, Hushmanzada, round numbers again. These are first round picks. Uh, Sanchez and Hayward Bay. Would have been not too bad of an insert to pull back in the day. McFadden and Roy Williams. All right, two packs left. Let's see. If we got anything. All right, David Garrard. And looks like that's gonna just stick. Matty Ryan, 2009 rookie playoff ticket. There's that Glenn Coffee again. And that guy's numbered 83.99. That is kind of cool. I do like how they've got rookie base like this that are numbered. That is one thing that I wish uh, they brought back for for contenders. It's a cool little feature. That way you can get other rookie cards of your. Uh, your favorite players or rookies that you're chasing. And, um, you know, like if you wanted a Baker, you wouldn't have to, if you want a Baker with contenders, you could get something other than five, six, seven, eight hundred bucks on an auto. All right, we're gonna see if we got an auto in this guy. I'm not expecting one, but we'll see. Drew Brees, Jake Cutler. <laughs> oh man, we got another redemption. Um, I tell you what, if it was in a 2018 box and you had two redemptions in here, people would be flipping out. Um, that uh, is usually not a, a thing. I don't think I've ever seen two redemptions on a box. So we'll use our other redemption to reveal the redemption. <laughs> Good job, Panini. I don't know if this is the first year they officially bought Donners or what, but all right, 24 playoff contenders. Ooh, RPS rookie tickets. So these are me one of our... Uh, we're newer guys. 122. I wonder if they did this in draft order. Who would the 22nd pick have been? Was that Percy Harvin? I think the Vikings took him right around there. All right. 122 is going to be... Nope. <laughs> Glenn Coffey again. Um, cool. Well, uh, we get a little bit of Glenn Coffey here, but we did get five autos. Um, and the reason I said, I wonder if that was in draft order, was like Stafford's one. Pretty sure Jason Smith went to, like, although Sanchez, I think he was a sixth pick. But anyways, um, guys, that was our, our two redemption box of 2009 playoff contenders. Um, pretty cool. Something different. We didn't get that Edelman. But uh, we got a couple redemptions and some nice pictures, some nice throwback cards. So as always, thanks for checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will catch you next time. See ya!